This video I'm going to show you how to create a uh, prompted report inside of an Oracle Apex application. So you may recall from one of our earlier videos we uh, created a query which used bind parameters that we called uh, cruise special requests. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, copy the SQL that we use to create this query and then we're going to go um, back to our application builder and we're going to go to the ship application that we've been working on and we're going to create a page so again I'm going to click uh, report page I'm going to say next uh, this time around I'm going to create a classic report and uh, I'm going to give this a name of uh, special request for our report page here. We're going to use our tab set that we've been using all along. And now I'm going to go ahead and paste that SQL in here and uh, one of the things we need to make sure we we keep an eye on here is these these bind uh, parameters that we have in our SQL when our page is created our page will have a number and uh, we can actually see that number if we back up a couple steps here see it's uh, gonna be page 12 which means that our our page we can actually refer to items on our page uh, utilizing uh, the page number so uh, eventually we're going to create a couple of items on our page and we're going to call them uh, P12 cruise ID and we're going to call them P12 uh, special request so we'll just go ahead and, and put those items into our SQL right now uh, so that we know we can refer to them later so now I'm going to click next and just take the standard default as we click through here and uh, go ahead and, and create this page now instead of running this page immediately I'm going to jump into the edit page dialog here and uh, I am actually going to create two page items so I'm going to go ahead and click the create button here and uh, we're going to use a select list uh, that we've already created as a as a part of our application and now uh, we are going to call this one the p12 cruise id which should match our parameter that we put into our sql statement and uh, we'll just take the defaults here And then uh, what we want to happen is when uh, when we change the value in this, we're going to want it to submit the page, which is to refresh the data. And uh, now we're going to see if we have a, a list of values that we can use. So for this uh, particular uh, value that we're looking for here, I don't have a, a list of values created so we can actually just create a list of values using a query so the way that we're going to do that is just say select and then uh, we're going to make uh, a little concatenation here so I'm going to start with my cruise ID and then I'm going to concatenate that with my ship name And I'm selecting this uh, from my uh, ship or from my cruise tab table. Now, when we create these uh, list of values, uh, there's a couple of different things that we can do here. One, we can choose to have a display value, which we identify by this alias a D, and then we can choose to have a uh, submitted value which we will 
set as cruise ID and uh, I believe we use a, a, an R for return value. So when we see this list of values uh, on our page, we will see the cruise ID concatenated with the ship name. But when it uh, submits the value back to the uh, database and then inserts it into our select statement, it's going to use this cruise ID value. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just click next now that we've written that select statement. And then uh, I'm just going to set a default value uh, here of uh, 1. So there should be a value that shows up in our box. And uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and, and create this item. So now if we were to run this page, which uh, I'm going to do right now, we can see that uh, we have a, a select list of values that's populated by that query that we wrote and uh, and when we select that it should um, uh, substitute that value into uh, our query now we haven't created the other drop down list we need to complete our query and that's why we're not seeing any results yet so let's go back to our uh, edit back to edit our page I'm just going to click the back button here a couple of times and now we're actually going to create a uh, another item and uh, I'm going to need to log back in here so we're going to create another item here uh, again it's going to be a select list I'm going to hit next uh, this one we're going to call a uh, special request and I'm just going to take the uh, default values here uh, again on this one I'm going to want it to submit the page when the value is changed I will uh, this time I should be able to use a, a named list of values that I've already created called special request and then uh, I'm going to click next. I will give this a default value of vegan so the box is populated when we come into our page. Then we'll go ahead and create the item. So now that we've created that in our ship application, let's, uh, let's jump back into our special request page and there's just a, a couple of things we're going to need to do in order to make this work correctly so we can see our two items are created our cruise ID and special request and we want to make sure that these uh, items names that we created here match exactly with the bind parameters we put in our SQL statement so to do that I'm just going to come into the source of our page and we can see that we've got p12 uh, underscore cruise underscore ID and then we've got p12 underscore uh, SPEC and underscore RQST so that ties with what we have on our page now the other thing we're going to want to do is make sure that these page items are uh, submitted and uh, the way that we do that is we just enter a, a comma separated list here and I'm just going to make sure that both of these page items are submitted as a part of uh, this query being run. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply changes here. And now when we run our page, we should have uh, two drop down lists which will allow us to interactively uh, change the results set on our page. So you can see here I've changed the value to the Caribbean princess and the special request of vegan and uh, we get back a result set that matches that particular um, set of parameters. If I change it to vegetarian I see that I don't have any in, uh, in that cruise number but in our uh, number one cruise ID we do have a, a vegetarian request. So that's how you can create a 
list of values driven report inside of your Oracle Apex application.